this, my friend. You are live on air. Are you a Muslim? Yes. All right. Would you like to say to us about the topic? Uh, you just said that there are three contradictions in the story with Adam. Hmm. Right? No, I'm not saying contradiction. I'm saying contradiction in the statement, which mean uh, uh, what Adam said, uh, what uh, what Shaitan said. Sorry, what Allah said. Did Allah speak the same story many times? Does it like does this story happen once only or many times? Uh, yeah, but in your Bible, it's also free contradiction when it comes to the uh, crucifixion of Jesus. Mm. Once he says, uh, Father, forgive them. Mm. And you know that. Mm. So what's wrong with that? Okay, let me answer you. First of all, we have four Bibles. And the reason we have four Bibles is because if they repeat exactly word by word, then there's no need to write four. So each of the Bible cover a side of the story. Here we have four author writing the same story. So here it says, forgive them, Father. The other one not need to repeat it because already he mentioned it. But here we have the same author. His name is Allah. He is repeating the same story, but he cannot repeat it twice. As it says, he said, here something. He said there something. So did Allah speak to you, Shaitan, many time or once about that issue? Did yeah, I, did I, I understand I what you mean. Of, but... Did I hear a sound of a dog? You have a dog there? Yes, yes. Isn't it forbidden for you to have a dog? Uh, not in your room, you know. I'm sorry, my English is not good, but you can keep him outside. Ah, okay. Or not? No, I, I, what I know, uh, uh, if you have a dog, Allah will take out from your deed every day. But anyway, continue. So, did a shaitan says to Allah, uh, you made me from clay in one place, and he says something the opposite in the other place? Yes. Okay, so yeah, why, the why the conversation is different then? I'm honest to you, I don't know. Okay. You know? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to forget about the topic. Obviously, I respect your honesty. You said I don't know. Can you give me a reason yes. for you as a Muslim? Anything. You can use anything, any tool you want, anything, any... Uh, 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 any reasoning you have to prove to us that the Quran is made by Allah who is knowledgeable not Allah is the illiterate you know uh, I am not born as a Muslim oh. um, but as I know there are miracles in the Quran mm, like what uh, like the water that not mix you know mm. the verse yeah I know the verse yes okay the water doesn't How... mix with what yeah that you know, my English is not very good. I try my best. What is your first language? There is a verse. What is your first language? Uh, German. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, do the water, salty water, and the uh, fresh water mix, or they don't mix? Yeah, they don't mix. Okay. Um, Can you go to your I, kitchen right now and make two cups? One is fresh water and one is so have salt. And put them yeah, but in that, one pot. that's not what it means. No, it means what then? Uh, do you know? don't know... The place in the um, where the water don't mix the salt and the there's no such you a thing. You don't know that there's no such a thing. Always water, salty water, and fresh water they mix. When there is a current, it takes time because there is always more new water coming. But always water mix. Secondly, the Quran says that uh, uh, the salty water and the fresh water they don't mix because Allah He put a barrier, and this barrier is. A rock. Can you prove it to me? Oh, that yeah. it means that. Oh sure. You are talking to Christian right. Prince. You know, right? I know you have a uh, very good knowledge. All right. This is the chapter twenty-five, verse number thirty-five. Read it for me. Uh, twenty-five. Hmm. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Which verse? I'm Chapter sorry. 25, verse number 53. 53? Hmm. I, the thing is, I have it in German and I can't... Uh, ex okay, My no problem. Let us, go to Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. I want you to look with me okay. in the screen. Okay? Look with me in the screen. Okay. Chapter 25, verse number 53. And as you see... This is not me. This is Ibn Kathir, right? You heard of Ibn yes. Kathir before, right? Okay.
Hello? We will show you if it is really a rock or not. So the Muslims, they are lying to you. And sorry, I, I don't want to disrespect you. But simply, yes, you, you know. know, you've been a fool for for believing them. You know? Uh, let us go back, sorry. You know, the thing is, um, they say to me, look, Christianity doesn't make sense. Look, we Islam. can talk about that. We can talk about that. No problem. Let us finish this one first. All and right. we will see. Here we go. Do you see my screen? Uh, yes. Okay. And I can share the link with you too. So you can be sure that this has nothing to do yeah, with me. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So here in Mikathir explain that there is uh, Allah created two kinds of water. One is sweet and one is salty. Sweet water like rivers, spring, wells, which is a fresh, sweet potable water. Okay, and then he continue. He says, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخًا وَحِجَرًا Okay. All right. And he said between them, a complete partition between them, meaning between the sweet water and the salt water. Barzakhan mean, can you read for me? Uh, kinds of water, sweet and salty. Hmm. Uh, springs, which is fresh. All right. Uh, of the water. Okay, so it don't mean that there are can't mix. Read, right? read, my friend, read. It says, yeah, and the partition, partition, which is a dry he land. That's what the word barzakh means. He has set a barrier and the complete partition between them. Yeah, which is a dry land. Ah, oh. oh, okay. So they did lie so right it's... away because anybody, any, anyone, he knew is that the word Barzakh is a barrier, which is a land. So the whole okay. fiction story is a fraud. Because anyone oh. who speaks little Arabic, you can go right now to the dictionary and get there the word Barzakh. And you will see Barzakh simply when there is like two water from two sides and there is a piece of land between them. That is the Barzakh. Oh. Okay, so I didn't they, know that. So they lie to you trying to say that there is a miracle. And here you I need to ask yourself, why they lie to you? Yeah. Why the they other scholars say the same, right? This is the scholar, this is not the kids. The, the one who lied to you is the kids in, in the street, the one who tried to convert you to Islam. But this is here, the scholars. So why they are lying, the one who taught you that this is uh, salty water and the fresh water don't mix. Secondly, you can go right now and check. You will see that it's, they mix. No one in the world can tell you that salty water and the fresh water, they don't mix. That would be stupid to say so. It's impossible. This is a big fat lie. In the top of that, the Quran never mentioned such a thing. The Quran is claiming that the salty water and fresh water, they are two kinds of water they never ever mix, which is stupid because all of us, we knew that the fresh water we have is coming from the rain, which is coming from the ocean, correct? Yes. Okay. But the verse here is saying they will never mix. Okay. I, I agree with you. Okay. So here, is that a mistake or is an error or, or this is a, a, a miracle? This is a mistake. Yeah. Okay. That's a mistake. Okay, so how you how you accept to be a Muslim? What I didn't hear you. How you accept to be a Muslim? If you just say this is a mistake. You know, they showed me things about Christianity, showed me Islam that there's only one God. My friend, and I'm be honest with you, I never heard something bad. My friend, you know? who care if Allah is one or two or three? If God is ten, if he said I am ten, he is ten. Do the number really make any difference for you? <laughs> I mean, we have to be smart, my friend. If Allah is 70 oh. or he's 80, who, uh, that's it. He is 80. What you can do? Either worship him or not. So this is the idea of one and two as if they have a privilege. This is a silly idea. This is only a, you know, a, a conversation for kids. If the God, he said, if there's only a God, we have to worship him. And this God, he have a family, let us say, he have a, a million, uh, you know, babies. And he said, I am God, I'm the one who created you. That's it, he is the one who created us, if he can prove it. Being one, being two, being three, being four, being seven, this is a stupid argument. Secondly, uh, do the Muslim even, they can prove to us that Allah is God. Anyway, here we go. What kind of God he think that the water, the fresh water and the salty water, they never mixed? He do not even know how the water function. 
Okay, you're right. So you should leave Islam right now, my friend. Yeah, but there's... Yeah, okay, okay. I agree with you. That doesn't make sense. So you decide to leave Islam? Yes. Right, I also right. watched other videos from you. Okay. Things like sperm coming from the backbone and... Yeah, in, in this one, by the way, this is true. Because, but this is only happened true for me. I am the only human being in this earth who have his sperm coming from the backbone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of God this God is? And women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. You know? What a stupidity. And the sperm live inside the women for 40 days. It's like a vacation time. Alibaba in the cave. You know? A sperm, sperm live inside the women for 40 days. Yes. What kind of a stupidity is that? So obviously the one who wrote the Quran is illiterate. The one who gave Muhammad as the clean inspiration is illiterate. So Allah is illiterate, not only Muhammad. Now, as long, my friend, you decide to leave Islam, why you don't accept Jesus as your savior? You know, um, my family is Christian, but there's one big problem I see myself with Christianity. Okay, tell me about it. Uh, do you know the story from the Bible where it says, um, I don't know how it says in English, there is a woman mm -hmm. who cheat on her husband. Okay. And then uh, she came to Jesus and the Jews want to uh, stone the girl for doing that. Okay. And uh, Jesus said, uh, sh uh, look at your own sin, first mm -hmm. of all. Mm -hmm. Do you know the story? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, and but this is uh, not from the Bible. It's not from the original Bible. But what what do you mean by original Bible? Yes, it was uh, even the Christians say that this is false. As a, uh, how can I explain to you? It was added. My friend, no Christian will say such a thing. Uh, I can show. I don't know no, how to. If, uh, if search. you want to say to me this person, that person, but this is not a Christian. There's no Christian will say that those were added. No Christian will say that. I, I can because, swear to you. Even second, I, my friend, my friend, I am a Christian. I tell yes. you that there is no Christian will say that because simply all all the Christian sect, Orthodox, Protestant, Catholic, they agree with the story. So anyone he say, this is his own statement. This is not a Christian statement. We have a church, you know, we have a church. We are not just individual walking in the street and everybody he come with his own meaning and his own say. So, this is a story, it happened for real. Otherwise, they have to prove the opposite. Do they have the original? No, but... Okay, hold on. So, if they, uh, uh, when somebody says to you, this is not in the original, but he don't have the original, he claimed that he have. How he can find out that this is not in the original? Yeah, that's, that's even the thing. Do you know the whole, it's the first Bible you have? Uh, codex, um, how it says, Codex, Zenaticus, you know that? Mm -hmm. But this is not the first Bible we have, you see. We, yeah. we don't have something no. called first Bible, we have manuscript. A full Bible, no. I know I know what you mean. Yeah, but we have manuscript, this... let, let me explain to you please. You see, because the Christians in the beginning they were poor people, and they used yes. to write the Bible on papers, not on leather. They can't afford it, leather is only for the kings and you know people who can afford it, very expensive and then now that is expensive correct so, yes so they they wrote their books in a the very cheap the cheapest material you can imagine because simply they are poor this is why it was not did not live for long to come to us then after we have a kings who they become a christians those kings they order to write what was in papers into leather and those are the right. ones who preserved. And in those ones, we have the story there. All right. Yeah. And my, but... my friend, let, let, me, let me tell you. Let us say for the sake of argument, this story is not exist. Let us say the book of John, all of it does not exist. That will not change yes. anything. That will not change anything. That Jesus is God. Because all yeah. what we need, all what we need, a sentence from Jesus and an act of Jesus to believe in Jesus. Because anyone can say, I'm God, worship me. I can say that, you can say that. But when we uh -huh. confirm that Jesus, we believe that Jesus, he resurrect people from death. 
We believe that Jesus says, I am God's son. We believe that Jesus says, I am from above, you are from below. And we, you know, there's millions of things. So one book, let us say there's no book of Isaiah, it's gone. Let us say there's the book or the Old Testament is gone. Still not gonna change anything. Even the stupid Quran agree. And remember the Quran came 600 years after Jesus, right? Yes. And the Muslims, they say there's no original Quran. This is what they told you, right? I mean, uh, 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 gospel, right? This is what they say to you. Uh, yes, yes. So where the Muslims, they, okay, so where the Muslims, they got it from? That Jesus, he created somebody from a, a bird from the mud. And Jesus, he uh, 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 made made the, the dead alive. And he made the blind see. And he can tell you what you hide in your houses. Where it goes from? If yeah, they did not get it from the Christian, if they did not get it from the Christians, then we need to explain to us they got from where. So obviously, the Muhammad and themselves, they are the one who is collecting his stories from Christian sect. Otherwise, they have no information themselves. If they do, show us the book which they have in their hand, which is opposing our book. If you go in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying, "Musaddiqan lima ma'ahum." Allah says in the Quran, He agree with, He confirm what is with them. Yeah, yes. Okay. I know so, the story. All right. So if Allah agree, confirm what is with us six hundred years after Jesus. Well, the books we have today goes way beyond six hundred. Yes, years. that's also uh, I ask uh, Imam by us, and he said in this time. You know, it wasn't falsified, but then I okay, also got two videos. My friend, my wait, friend. wait, wait. Okay. What? If he said to you at that time it was not falsified. Yes, yes, but then I it. watched the weed. <laughs> what? That's mean we have it at that time was not falsified. So the Muslim should have it. Yes, because also the uh, Quran says, uh, the Christian said that the Messiah is the same like Allah, mm -hmm. right? Mm hmm yes then it doesn't make sense really yeah at that time the christian they say that the messiah is allah this is the quran way of expression but the christian they don't say the messiah is allah the christian they say the messiah is god right so the stupid quran uh, yeah. proved them to be liars because either confirm what is with us and what with us is saying that the messiah is god what happened that muhammad is a hypocrite man when he sit with the jews he's a jew when he sits with the Christian, he's a Christian. When he sits with the Sabian, he's a Sabian. When he sits with the Mushrikeen, the one who worshiped the three years of Allah, he worshiped him with them, same as satanic verses. So the fraud Muhammad, he changed his skin color like a lizard, the bent in the background. Wherever he go, he is one of them, just to earn support and to agree that he is a prophet. This is why in the Quran, Muhammad, he says those who they are Jews and those who they are a Christian and those who they are Sabian, they will go to heaven and they have no fear. How the Sabian who worship stars, they became saved. Mm. That's impossible. You see, I can go, I can let go of the Christian and the Jews, right? But the Sabian, yes. how he insert the Sabian there? Sabian, at the time of Muhammad, was the most well-known religion ever. It's older, way older than Christianity. Even the Pharaoh, he was a Sabian. Even the Egyptian, they used to be Sabian. Even Yemen used to be Sabian. The temple of the moon god in Yemen is built by the Sabian. This is why the Sabian, if you go to the book, it's called Kenza Rabba. You, you will find that the Sabian, they claim that Adonai, the god of the Jews, he is the devil. Why? Because Adonai, he ordered the Jews to do circumcision. So how Muhammad, he agreed that the one who say that the God of the Jews is a devil because of circumcision. How he agreed that those will go to heaven? Mm. I know what you mean. Those are enemies, you know, the Jews the, 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 and, and the Sabi and they hate the Jews too for the other reason, because they believe that Adonai, which is the devil supposedly, the God of mm. the Jews is so evil and he is the one who, who destroyed the kingdom of their great leader the pharaoh so they believe that the pharaoh and the people of egypt they used to be sabian and adonai the god of the jews he sent a flood and he killed the pharaoh and this is why they hate the jews too 
Okay, he did never hurt this. Well, stay with us, my friend, and you will learn always. This is what we do here. So, my friend, still, I'm asking you, what is making you stop? Don't you want to celebrate Christmas with the Christ this year? You know, I yes. So, what are you waiting for? I invite you, and I say to you, yeah. there's no better person than the Messiah to follow. And there is no better person with ethic, with knowledge, with a statement, with teaching, with act and miracles and power as the Messiah. So why in the world you decide to leave Islam today? But what is stopping you from accepting the Messiah right now? I accept him. I mean to that. We are very happy for you. Hallelujah. So today we have our friend here. I'm not going to mention your name. Our friend here from Germany. He is going to celebrate the joy of a Christmas with his family. He's back home to his parents as a Christian person. And I want you from now on, my friend, to be vigilant, not to let those Abdul. I mean, how in the world, my friend, such a stupid religion, they can deceive you. How that can happen mm. to you? You know, when I would know that before, I would tell them what are you believing in. But to be honest, I uh, saw your videos uh, like three or four days before. And yes, I don't really believe in it. I can't believe in it. This is the book of stupidity. If you know anyone, the Muslims, they were able to fool and make him accept the garbage of Muhammad. Please bring him here. Let him call me. And I will All be right. happy to help. All right. All right. All right. Thank you for, for being with us. And we pray the Lord will bless you and bless your family. And uh, you. we pray that the Lord will... I give you the joy of a Christmas. It's called the Christmas. The Muslim, by the way, they will say to you, do you know Christmas is a pagan day? It's not. Christmas, it is a Christ day. That would be pagan yeah. if we're celebrating Sunday, which means the day of the sun, right? We are celebrating yeah. Christ. The day is what you celebrate, not the date. They will say to you, do you know the origin of the 25th of December was for the pagan? Who care? We are celebrating in that day Christ. We are not celebrating that the pagan. It's them who kiss a stone. It is them who they are the pagans. It's them who worship Muhammad. Just two days ago, a guy, he insulted Muhammad according to them. They burned him alive in Sri Lanka. They are the one who worship a man. In Islam, if you insult Allah, if you say the F word to Allah, they will not kill you. They will give you three days to repent. If you insult Muhammad, they will burn you alive. This is how much pagan they are. All right? Yes. All right, my friend. God bless you and say hello to all your family and Merry Christmas from now. Okay, thank you, CP. Take care.